Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms, and this video is about the Alpha Tent, which is a, it's been around for a little while, but I uh, figured I'd go ahead and throw it out there because it's a very inexpensive option to use your standard GI poncho and set it up as a freestanding tent. Uh, weight of the poles and the stakes and that little support pole right there is 17 ounces. You can also set the Alpha 10 up as a, in a lean-to configuration with your hiking poles if so desired. The framework used is just two 110 inch long Easton aluminum tent poles. And I've got them lashed together in the center. have the poles lashed together in the center and at the very end I have these wire nuts and you just run shock cord through and then I did figure of eight knots at the very end of it and this gives you tie out points for your stakes and also holds the whole arrangement together. Overall length is 114 inches length of your poles overall length would be 112 inches this is a parts list of everything you'll need to assemble the uh, support structure for the Alpha Tent. Uh, broken down for you, I use Easton aluminum poles, uh, which you could certainly use whatever tent poles you happen to have on hand as long as the, the total adds up to the length. But if you were to purchase the items new, you would need 10 of the .340 poles by 18 inches long with inserts. And you would need two of the .340 by 13 inches with inserts cut to 11 inches. And then you would need two of the .340 by 13 without inserts cut to 11 inches. And you can see the arrangement here where you have your wire nuts down here. And you can see how we have our poles cut here and how we have the inserts arranged. And then you're going to need 25 foot of 332nd shock cord. And then to build the support pole, what you do is, is you take the 18 inch section and then we have two of the um, tie-off grommets, which are the number 4038s. 
and what you'll do is you'll just tie it, an overhand knot in this, slide it through here, run your cable through or run your shock cord through, tie another knot in it, making sure it's tight and it'll pull itself together and you have your support pull for your uh, entrance if you desire to do that or you could use a stick if you desire not to. And then the, uh, I just use grounding wire connectors, they already had a hole in the end of them and they had those large ears on them which were nice and those are the ideal greeny grounding wire wire nuts. And also for your support pole it's just a uh, .340 times by 18 inches without insert. So all you will do is, is tie your figure eight knot, slide it through your first wire nut, and then go ahead and feed it through your first 11 inch with insert. And what I use to slide the stuff through there is just an old piece of bicycle brake cable. It's easy to fish it through there, then tape it on this end, and pull your shock cord through and run it through each and every one of these and then when you get to this end here pull it tight and then tie your figure of eight knot at the end and then you're good to go please make sure you check my video description as it's got a I've got a couple different links in there one which is Alpha Rubicon Net which is the he's the originator of this Alpha Tent concept and uh, he has a lot more information on it and then also the other link is to Quest Outfitters which is a uh, vendor who sells all of your tent pole materials and anything else you would want, outdoor fabrics, etc., to make your own gear. And I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comms. Till next time.